It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Yesterday I made a live stream talking about my personal live reactions to the new trailer for King Kong vs. Godzilla. And actually, of course, during the whole entire countdown video, as well as the trailer reaction, I was, of course, really excited about the news and seeing the trailer for the first time. Because it has been like months and months until we have not seen the trailer. And so naturally, of course, I was overwhelmed with excitement when I saw the trailer for the first time on camera, of course. However, there was like one big major detail. One major big detail that I forgot to mention. Because when I was watching the trailer again, yes, I was watching the trailer many, many times. There was like one small thing that I forgot to mention in my initial reaction. And so for this video, naturally, of course, here's my personal speculation about all of this, right? Because obviously, this is not 100% confirmed or not. This is all speculation, so guess what? Take this whole entire speculation with a pinch of salt. But basically, during a trailer for King Kong vs. Godzilla, what I saw was some sort of giant robot head during the whole entire part where people were running away. And actually, of course, the whole entire tone for that trailer is that Godzilla is actually the villain of the whole entire movie and that King Kong is somehow the hero. Now, my personal speculation, my personal speculation, is that that giant robot head that was behind those people is actually Mega Godzilla. And not only that though, during that trailer, what I saw was some sort of, of course, some background of sketches, right? It appeared to be like a robot, I guess. And I think that's like Mega Godzilla for the whole entire trailer. So my personal speculation is as follows. The whole entire plot is essentially, of course, King Kong fighting Mega Godzilla, right? He also fights like these uh, bats too in the trailer. So it's King Kong fighting Mega Godzilla for most of the movie, right? Because I guess he kind of felt that Godzilla is not really Godzilla. And so naturally he fought against Mega Godzilla for the trailer. And I guess towards the end of the movie, he will probably fight with Godzilla to defeat Mega Godzilla. That's my whole entire speculation for that trailer. And the main reason why I say that is because back in 1974, there was a movie that was, of course, Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla, right? And that movie, right, what happened was that basically the first half of the movie was a fake Godzilla, right? It was Mega Godzilla in a Godzilla suit. And he was fighting against Angelus until obviously the real Godzilla actually appeared and he started to fight against the real Godzilla. And so, same as though, it's the same sort of plot for like that kind of story, but for like King Kong and Godzilla. So, it's entirely like completely false, of course, obviously. This is all rumors, this is all speculation. But my personal speculation. Is that, of course, Mega Godzilla makes a return. He's gonna have to fight against King Kong, and naturally, of course, King Kong will probably team up with Godzilla to defeat like Mega Godzilla. Another thing that kind of reinforced my theory that Mega Godzilla might actually return in this movie is, of course, the idea of the merchandise. Like months ago, Legendary Pictures has so many merchandise when it comes down, of course, to Godzilla versus Kong. And so one of the merchandise that they actually sold was literally a model of Mega Godzilla. So months before the trailer actually came out, we knew for a fact that, of course, Mega Godzilla might actually make a return. Again, all speculation, all rumors, but that's like the official like model, the official toys for that movie. And so they seem as though they already leaked the idea that Mega Godzilla might actually make an appearance again. But that's my personal speculation about all of this. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Hopefully it is true. But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend.
because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.